was huge, it's massive. I think, you know, I, I look back at my route into coaching and, you know, where I sit right now and I had some key people along the way, um, key people within the club environment at Arsenal at the time, you know, it was it was an interesting one near the end of my career because it was the first time we had female coaches looking after us. And obviously the one, Emma Hayes, who's now Chelsea manager, has been a very successful coach and was with us. She's the only coach who, within our environment, has ever won the Champions League. You know, as a British team, so she's a very high-level leader, and you know you can see that with what she's done within her club environment. So for me, she was definitely somebody I looked up to and listened to, um, and learned from. I think within the environment um, nationally, I didn't have that as much, but there, that's a lot for lots of different reasons at the time. You know, we didn't have a professional coaching environment then. Um, it was a very different setup, so. I didn't expect to get much support from that environment at the time. Uh, I've obviously had it as I've gone through my coach education courses within the FEW and I've welcomed that support and I've enjoyed it. Going forward, so I'd like to think that we can give back to that and we can enhance that and, you know, as females within the top level of our game right now, we can encourage other young or old females to come in and, and do the same in the future. I think you go through educational courses, especially based around the football entity, and it can be quite a challenging environment for females there, uh, because it's predominantly a male environment, um, and there are certain ways of delivery, there's certain things that are focused on there that, for females, can be less relevant in the future. Hopefully we can, we can acknowledge that and change that.